All right, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is the one where everything's made of clay, yeah? Kind of? Oh, no, this is the anime one. I remember now, yes. We're playing uh, Legend of Zelda 2. No. <laughs> I have Zelda 2. It's over there on my shelf. You can see it in a nice plastic case because it's in really nice condition. <laughs> Um, I know I've mentioned this before, but there is the collections on the Switch of old NES games that we could play. Yeah. 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 That's the keyword. Yeah. 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 You don't understand how actually fucking hard NES oh. games really are. Oh, I remember. I, do. <laughs> I remember. I yeah, love the one where they made her play. I love NES games. But they're difficult. But, oh my god, are they fucking ridiculous. Well, they had to have some way of keeping people playing them. Yeah, and the best way to do that was to make sure they couldn't beat them in their lifetime. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the one that has the, the clay look to it. So, I am both going to enjoy this, but also not take my time with it. That's fine. I don't really care. Okay. Because uh, I, I don't remember 100% what I'm supposed to do with everything, but I do remember a lot of it. So... This was the first... The giant egg. What, what does the egg mean? <laughs> uh, so, yes, Link's Awakening. Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening. Which doesn't have Zelda in it, which makes the title kind of a misnomer. Hmm. Oh, okay, we gotta give him, we gotta give him a name. Alright, um... Only eight characters? That's yeah. really short for a fucking name. I want to go with... It's all you, my friend. Uh, Lim... Limpus. I love it. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, how do I go back one? B. B. Limpus. If not, it's just limp piss. So, Limpus. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, let's go with Limpus. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What a relief! I thought you would never wake up. You were tossing and turning. And Zelda? What? Zelda? No, my name is... Marin. Marin! You're still feeling a little woozy. You're on... I can never fucking pronounce it. <laughs> Co... Co... Olit... Co... 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 Int? Co... Clean Island. I... Yeah, I have no idea how that's supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> Follow of the lane south to reach the beach. To wow, where you were. This looks so much better than the first time I played it. Last, I, I remember this game being in black and white and way less 3D. Whoa, Olympus, <laughs> you finally snapped out of it. The name's Tira. Uh, hope you're feeling better. What? How do I know your name? I think it's weird, huh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Dee dee doo doo. <laughs> Olympus is just like, I put that on my shield? <laughs> Then again, considering how many times Olympus is knocked unconscious, I guess it would be a good thing for him to write his name on, like, everything. Yeah. The Master up. Sword yeah. and all that. <laughs> he's just like, he's like, alright, Master Sword, and it's mine. Okay, good. <laughs> the Chain Chomp is probably my favorite thing about this game. This this the game has a lot of Nintendo, uh... Like, there's a lot of things in here so that's just, like, this, jokes in other Nintendo games. So, this game was made before Nintendo had a policy that was, uh... Because Nintendo's new policy is if you want to put one of their characters in the franchise in your game... Even if it's also, like, a Nintendo game, right? Like, the Zelda team has to get permission from the Mario team to put Mario into a Zelda game. I didn't know that. This is before that was a thing. So, back in the day, they could just literally toss any Nintendo character into their game without asking permission first. Which is why Mario is in, like, a million fucking games on the NES. <laughs> yeah, that, that, oh, that explains it, because I never knew that why that was a thing. Yeah, like, he's in golf and tennis as, like, the referee. And, like, that was just, like, something you did. You just added Mario to your game because there was no rule saying you couldn't. <laughs> nice. 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 Nice, nice. Wait. Nice. <laughs> so, um, 
Can't wait to get the fucking dash boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the first... Okay, so this is the first handheld game, right? First handheld game, and the... Third? It's either the third or the fourth actual Zelda game. I can't remember if this came out before A Link to the Past or after. I think after. Or before. This one came out before. Yeah. I would think so, because the Game Boy was out before the Super Nintendo. So yeah, probably. <gasps> Dark Forest. <gasps> Fucking Howl McHoot Hoot, man. Dark, please. What if we need Windfish. to know that? Yeah, that's the lore, dude. Come on. Are you going to read it? Uh, sure, I'll read it. Okay, I won't skip through the next one then. <laughs> Very, very unkosher, dude. <laughs> like, how are the people supposed to know what the story of this is unless you read the text? <laughs> Come on. I read the text and I didn't even get the fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking... I was talking about it before off-camera, but uh, I was talking to Derek and I'm like... Zelda games have, uh, this odd, uh, power over me where I start playing it and I'm like, wow, look how magical and interesting this world is and all these people I can talk to and, oh, it's so, look at the vast world you can explore. And then I get, like, halfway through the fucking game and I'm just like, oh, God, this is still going? Right, can I stop fucking playing this, please? Like, Jesus Christ, can it fucking end already? I get I, it. I hate it. I, like, truly get it. So, like, every Zelda game always gets to that point where I'm just like, oh, my God, I don't care. <laughs> Dude, you can get the heart container. No, oh, I can't. You can't? I oh. can't yet. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm like, how do you pass up a heart container, especially one so easy to find? <laughs> it, it doesn't actually let you do it yet. Oh, this is the one where you get the wing, or the feather to The feather to jump, jump yeah. yeah. And also, so I can't get it because I need to be able to pick those things up to get it. Oh, can you not pick up the summon skulls? No, I can't. I'm highly disappointed. Not yet. I got an item that lets me do that. Yeah, the power brace, right? Yes. Yeah, it's almost like I played this once before a very long time ago. Except it Although, wasn't this one. Yeah, I gotta say, I remember it being a lot less 3D. <laughs> and a lot more portable. Like, not like fake portable, like I can pick up my Switch and put it in my backpack. Like, it put it, I could like put this game in my pocket portable. Like, actually portable portable. <laughs> Oh, the great. Uh, I was gonna say great fairy, and then I was like, actually, no, they weren't in these ones, right? They're just fairies. <laughs> I got a nut. I can take half damage. Didn't you already pick up a nut? No, I didn't actually pick that one up. Oh, okay. But you know what the best part is? Every time you reset the game, that gives you that item. Oh, uh, dude, don't tell me. I already know. <laughs> it's like, trust me, I'm aware. <laughs> it's my favorite feature of Zelda games. It's one of my favorite things. I walk in, right? Mm hmm And I pick up a thing, and then it tells me about the rubies for the ninth time. It doesn't do that in... It only really did that in Skyward Sword. No. It does it in, like, oh. all of them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't... I don't really remember them. it in Ocarina of Time. But I'm gonna be wrong that's, with that. That's because you haven't played Ocarina of Time. In a long in time. In a long time, trust me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I could be, I'm probably wrong, but... Dude, it's it's literally every Zelda game until Breath of the Wild. Ah. Like, I'm not even kidding. Well, except the early ones where they didn't tell you what you were picking up at all. You just picked shit up and they were just like, Good luck! <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> They're like, what does this do? And you're just like, Derek, that's a hole. But yeah, fucking, uh... Uh... I'm sorry, what voodoo fucking bullshit is this? They instant die if you throw that shit on them. The fuck is that shit? It's magic powder. Oh, the thing that turns the dark things into the dark fairies into regular fairies. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I do remember this. They shouldn't disappear, Derek. They should turn into fucking. Oh, dude, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's Mario. Yep. I forgot. He was Mario in the he original, was Mario, yes. Mario, yeah, sorry. I, I totally forgot about this. 
Made even more apparent by the fact that he carries fucking power-up mushrooms on his back now. Yeah. Treasure chest! You got the... Tail key. Tail key. I'm like, you got the... Worm key? <laughs> Even the me that believes in you. Remember to get the instruments, Chris. Uh, for the windfish. For the windfish. I like how this whole game is like, this is the dream of the windfish, and if you wake up the windfish, the whole island will disappear. And I, as Link, I would just be like, but like, wouldn't I just drown in the middle of the ocean if I did that? Maybe it'd be better if I don't stop this. <laughs> I think that's how he like the it ends. <laughs> Like he's yeah, in the middle no, of the fucking ocean yeah, no, without a boat. It ends, he wakes up, and he's in the middle of the ocean floating on the destroyed rubble of his boat. And it's just like, oh. Maybe it would have actually been better to stay on it. Yeah. It's like, maybe we should have just lived a lie for a while. Yeah, like fucking little life with uh, the girl Never. over there. Although, you know how like disappointing your life would be if you ended up marrying, fucking, having kids with the girl who's part of the dream, and then the fish woke up, and now you're a 40-year-old man floating in the ocean, you're really confused. <laughs> well, it's like that episode in, um... Is, is, we we got one already, right? Yes, yeah, so we totally did. Why? Okay. No, that's a different one. It gives you a different effect. Okay. That one, that one, this one gives you blue. That one gave you a, a fire aura. This is a blue aura. But, uh, they made a joke about it in, um... So, uh, not South Park. Um, Rick and Morty. Mm -hmm. Where, where uh, Morty plays a game, and he plays it for, like, 40 years, and he's like, what happened to my wife? Where's my kids? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the game of life. <laughs> I do remember this. Um... <laughs> Jam, dude. Fucking lame. I'm sure you gotta get the high score. <laughs> He's taking him off the rails! He's taking him off the rails! Whoa! <laughs> That'd be a weird game, by the way. But they that an actual, like, thing. Oh, yeah, no, it'd be great. It'd be very weird. Do, 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 do! <laughs> it's like... How are you so sure that this is an old Zelda game? Because it's not giving me a plot dump every four feet. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I liked about Breath of the Wild. There was a lot of exposition in certain Dude. spots, okay. and then there was, like, none. I, I, I'm going to agree to disagree with you on that, because when they do tell you what's going on in that game... It's, it's literally like a three-hour cutscene. Oh, like, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I get no, it. That, that I actually agree with. <laughs> Like, if you're not intentionally actually doing the story, you don't have to worry about <laughs> shit. Like, you get to a certain point and it's just like, It's me, Zelda. Let me tell you everything that you probably had questions about. And then it's just like, you put the game down, you take a nap, and you wake up the next morning and she's still fucking talking to you. And you... <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> so I can't disagree. It's, uh... Also reminds me of that, uh, that Sandy not included joke that's just like, We're releasing Metal Gear Solid 4 Gameplay Edition! You can now take six steps before activating a cutscene instead of three! <laughs> I loved that. <laughs> it's good shit, man. Dude, good shit. That, that show is... Lost to time now, and boy is that upsetting, because boy is that a good show. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh yeah, this is one of those Zelda games where it's like, using the shield is like, a thing. Actually useful. Yeah, like a thing. <laughs> it's, you can't just dodge out of the way of everything. You also have to press the button though, right? This is the one where you have to actually like, yeah, shield push the to button shield. to shield. Yeah, that, I like that so much better. I don't, I'm not a fan of uh, NES Zelda's fucking, like, sit there and do nothing. <laughs> you got the feather. Rock's feather. You know, rocks, like the bird rock. Yeah. You remember it from war? No? Alright. Bad jump. <laughs> I don't think... I, I always try to jump over those things. I don't think it actually lets you do that. I think you can, but I think it's like really fucking like pixel perfect <laughs> to actually make the jump.
Haha, <laughs> suck it, holes. <laughs> Wait, can you jump slash? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's pretty dope. I don't remember that being in the first game. <laughs> You know what I? You know what's great about this game, but also like not as cool as the handheld ones. What? You can't, you know, switch out your sword and shield for more stupid items, <laughs> instead of, because the original game only had two buttons. So if you wanted to use something other than your, if you wanted to use like the rock's feather, you had to either sacrifice the shield or the sword, and you had to like pause the game every time you wanted to switch it. <laughs> I think they should have just doubled down on that and made it so all four face buttons could just be set to whatever the fuck you wanted at any time. <laughs> I agree. Completely. <laughs> it's like, I want the ability to jump, throw magic powder, throw bombs, and use arrows. And it's like, what about sword and shield? Fuck the sword and shields. <laughs> fuck the sword and shield. I have money. <laughs> well, that doesn't even make sense. Screw the rules. I have green hair. <laughs> Dude, so, speaking of video games, right, mm -hmm. so, uh... Tell me more about Seto Kaiba. <laughs> Seto Kaiba. Well, Seto Kaiba is a character designed and owned by Bando Namcat. No, Konami. Ba owned and owned by Konami, which is why we'll never get anything good video game-wise from their company. <laughs> we could make a good card game that everyone could play, but instead, what if we made a Pratinko machine that used... Yu-Gi-Oh characters, and then everyone at Konami clapped, and then they made a Pachinko machine. <laughs> uh. You're not a great gambler. Uh, you, you'd be very bad at slots. <laughs> It's alright, dude, you have one health, so just don't walk into any of them and you'll be fine. <laughs> alright, I guess we're giving up on that. Uh, <laughs> I'll go back. I wasn't sure what you were doing, so I was like, alright. Just hit and then wait, and then hit again. No, too early. Too early, you fool. Okay. No, too early. I'll say now for you. That'll help. Now. Now. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't help, actually, because you, you swing after I say now because you don't know what I'm going to say now. <laughs> nice. This is actually something useful, I forgot. Mm. I don't think so. Probably not. Oh. Oh! I can now talk to the beaks. It was helpful. Look at that. Imagine if you went your whole game without the hint system, Derek. <laughs> you have to look at some sort of, I don't know, like a walkthrough or something. That'd be dumb. Oh no. <laughs> it's alright, you have a jumping slash now. He stands no chance. <laughs> Maybe wait until he rolls it, though, before jumping slashing into the no! space. <laughs> well, there goes the perfect ending, Chris. Oh, yeah, the perfect ending is only if you play the whole game without dying once. Yep. I can't believe you died in the Zelda game, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are pretty early in it. Yeah, no, no excuses. <laughs> it, I, I find it so annoying because it's like, the further I get with this game, the less difficult I have at all with the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's because they give you more hearts for being not bad. Yeah. <laughs> what do you get? What is, what is the internet thing, Steve? Does anyone else think I should make Zelda play... Does anyone else think I should make Derek play Zelda 1? Oh no, I know it's, it's a pain in the ass. Because it's, like, absurdly difficult and Derek is bad at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my favorite running joke. Mainly because you yourself had started it. 
<laughs> they don't go full length anymore? Oh, no, certain ones do, certain ones don't. Okay. This was a mistake. <laughs> I was like, is there someone else behind me? I don't remember. That's a good question. Oh, it's the key for the boss. That was the boss key door. Aren't you gonna make? Aren't you gonna make the? I thought you were gonna talk it through. Dude, you've been skipping over the text <laughs> way before this. I assumed you were just like, "Fuck you, Chris." We're not doing the text reading, so I haven't even been trying. <laughs> like we got to two characters after I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll read it." And then we got through two characters where you were like, "Skippy dialogue," and I'm like, "I guess we're not reading these." Uh. <laughs> Yeah, just surprise me with that shit. <laughs> I thought you wanted to do the buzz buzz, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, I figured we were just ignoring all text at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Agreement. I will not. I'm just gonna <laughs> skip it all. Hard container. He, was, he immediately reads the next text on screen. Well, the reason I actually didn't just mash through that one is because <laughs> it didn't let me. Uh, just don't mash through it super fast so people can pause and read if they want. Fair. Okay. All right. <laughs> I, I've done enough reading from Yakuza. <laughs> you didn't do enough reading for Yakuza. Could have read way more in that game. Could have. We could. We could have went way longer. We could have had days on that. Imagine all the extra stuff we hadn't got yet. It's <laughs> more reading than I wanted to do too. Swap. Gotta go to the swamp. And he does it again. He reads the next fucking thing in text. Fuck. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say swamp because All right. swamp. Alright. <laughs> Get out of my swamp! What are you doing Dude, in, in my swamp? Was there anything down that staircase you ignored and then fought the boss for? Uh, just health. Okay. Do you have enough then? It, it, if you get knocked off, it bounces you back to that spot. Oh, so you don't have to fully like restart the boss boss. Ah, I see. So. As long as it wasn't something important, like a heart container, or a life, or a, a wedding ring for Meryl, I mean... What's her name again? Marin? Yes. Alright. Some, <laughs> like people, some people love her on, so much on the internet, they're like, it's my waifu, and I'm just like, guys. Derek, that's literally every character ever on the internet. That's true. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Rule 34 page? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> me. I get, I get it though. I like her more than most Zeldas. Let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest. <laughs> I love that it just says it'd be faster if I just go figure it out myself. Yeah. Oh no. My doggo, he get off the leash. He's now eating the children. <laughs> Let's be honest, that's a more accurate representation of probably what would have happened if that thing got off the leash. Kill the fox! <laughs> they attack you, so I'm not going to. Uh, I thought that was only the chickens. I'm going to play the crane game. Correction, Derek, you're going to lose the crane game. Probably. Do 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 do. Boop. <gasps> Yoshi. Yoshi. That was pretty good, actually. <laughs> oh. Just like a real life fucking crane game. One hundred percent the fucking same. <laughs> It might. The physics on this seem rather shit. <laughs> but yeah, no, 100% just like real tr crane like, games. look at this! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Uh, 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 uh. Do you want to play another round? No, I got everything that meant anything. <laughs> you got a piece of heart! Collect enough of these and be able to send them in for the melon reward. <laughs> So 
Did we stalk him immediately? This has the, uh, this has the shopkeep that murders you in it, right? Yes, he's up in the other shop. Nice. <gasps> now we get the, the chain shell. shop with the bow. No, the chain shop with the bow. Yeah. That's the one we want, Derek. Yeah. Now we'll be able to trick the dog into thinking there's a female doggo around. <laughs> he stands no chance now. I get all my strategy from Looney Tunes. <laughs> and on Looney Tunes, yeah, we'll be back later. We'll pick this up in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.